let's have a discussion on coulomb's law according to this law if the bodies are charged by similar electrical charge they will repel each other if the bodies are charged by opposite electrical charge they will attract each other force is a vector quantity which means it has direction in addition to its magnitude here the force acts along the straight line joining the centers of the charged bodies now if you increase the charge q1 keeping q2 unchanged the force is obviously increased if you decrease the charge q1 keeping q2 unchanged the force is obviously decreased according to coulomb's law f is proportional to the product of q1 and q2 now by keeping their charge fixed at q1 and q2 if we bring the charged bodies nearer to each other the force between them increases and if we take them away from each other the force between them decreases if the distance between their centers is r it can be proved that force acting on them is inversely proportional to r square it is also obvious that this force is not same for every medium for example if the bodies are kept in air the force is different from the force while they are kept in water variation of force according to the medium is determined by a constant say this is k finally we can say that force f equals q1 into q2 divided by k into r square this is nothing but the expression of coulomb's law in si system k equals 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r the force acting between the charge is expressed as f equal to q1 into q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r into r square where epsilon 0 is the permittivity of air or vacuum and its value is 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farads per meter and epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the surrounding medium in respect to the permittivity of air or vacuum so hope this discussion helped in better understanding of coulomb's law thank you created using powtoon